that is Mr. Rogers right there, stressing the importance of being kind always. You're welcome to the conversation showing on your digital first Pan African news network, that is TOS Television. My name is Merciful Ajinbo, and of course, we're reaching you live from Nigeria's federal capital city, Abuja. Before we bring you the big story, let's talk about some stories from across Africa. We begin with Uganda, where two soldiers accused of killing three people during protests last year that broke out following the arrest of Uganda's then presidential candidate, Robert Kyagulani, also known as Bobby Wine at a campaign rally, have been convicted by the country's military court. And now, Malawi's former finance minister, Joseph Mwanamveka, and former central bank head, Dalitso Kambambe, were on Wednesday arrested on charges of abuse of office and fraudulent accounting. Uh, according to a new study, only 40% of Africans support the idea of COVID-19 mandatory vaccination that could potentially accelerate vaccine uptake and the attainment of herd immunity. Now, we know we're at a very critical stage in the world right now, talking about COVID-19 and, of course, the new Omicron variant. That's why we always say it's important to get yourself vaccinated and, you know, observe all the protocols and all the necessary guidelines to ensure that you are safe and your neighbor and friend and family, they are all safe. And now we'll bring you the big story. But before then, let's look at some COVID-19 updates from across Africa. After then, we'll bring you the big story. It is the conversation showing on your digital first Pan African news network. It's that time where I say you have to be a part of our social media platform. That is, be a part of our social media community. Follow us across all the platforms that is Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at TOS TV Network. And stay updated on happenings in Nigeria and, of course, across Africa on our website, www.tostvnetwork.com. It's the big story, the crux of the conversation, and this time we talk about jailbreaks in Nigeria, the call for Arik Bishala's resign expectations. Joining us from, um, you know, Oshobo right now via the phone call is Comrade Wahid Saka, a public affairs analyst. You're welcome to the show, sir. Uh, good morning, my brother. Good to be on the platform again. Same here, same here. So now the talk of today, uh, the Minister of Interior, that's um, Rauf Arik Bishala, has confirmed, the minister rather, has affirmed that he will not resign from office, despite the rampant uh, successful attack on the nation's custodial facilities. How do you react to this update? Uh, there, are, there are two ways to actually view it. We can view it in terms of uh, taking responsibility, and we can, we can view it from the point of uh, uh, political leaders in Nigeria. The Raoul Varek Bessola that we all know will, not, will be, a, it will be a surprise if he choose to resign in the face of incensed uh, break kind of uh, our correctional service centers. Mm -hmm. However, in a, a sane society, a leader must take responsibility. And the box top not only on the table of the minister, but equally on the table of the president. And you begin to ask, have we called for the removal of uh, the controller general of our correctional service center? Because this issue is directly involving him. The minister actually control more than uh, uh, one agency, uh, uh, one one security agency under the, uh, the interior ministry. Mm. And now, it would be a surprise if the minister chooses to resign. And I begin to look at it that why are we always politicizing issues of short magnitude? You you look at it that this uh when when we refuse to end the issue of uh, terrorism, mm. people people they actually started calling for the removal of the president. They started by saying that the president should remove the service chiefs. Mm. And we know that these are people that are directly overseeing those uh, uh, activities. So 
as far as I'm concerned, I'm not surprised the 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 Ralph Paragwe Shola said he is not going to resign. Uh is meant to to type uh somebody that will always face a challenge. Considering what he has faced in Osho, and you begin to look at oh just the correction of facility it will not go uh, I, I, and I think the president will not even remove him. The call, you know, this is not a, a national call now. It's just a sectional call from a few people that are looking at it that maybe the, uh, the minister is not doing enough. But the issue here is we must raise the bar of security around our collection facility. And by that, the ministers will have to take a solution on that. Let it be by in a way that you can never allow criminals, convicted, awaiting trials, to roam about your streets. This incensed breaking of our fire, prisoner of the facility to end now. And we should tell the minister so that he should work extra hard and find a lasting hand to this. Nigeria don't care who become their minister. They only want a nation whereby they will be safe and secured. Yeah, like you rightly really said when you were explaining that in Sena societies, um, when there's a bulk of responsibility on one person, and the person steps down to show that he's responsible. In this case, uh, you rightfully said, some people have called for his resignation and he has come out to say he will not resign. Uh, do you think, um, just like you explained, do you think going forward, all of these issues of incessant um, attack on, security, um, on, on, on correctional facilities will stop going by his definitive action uh, statement on this? I'm not sure it's going to stop. Okay. I'm not actually sure that the rhetoric is enough to stop it. Those breaking our correctional facility understand their target. And the people leading Nigeria knows that an issue, another issue will take over within a week or two. The reality is we are failing in the basic things as a nation and as uh, uh, and our government. Our government is failing the constitutional role of being in government, security of lives and property. Hmm. And that is the key word. If we must uh, look at it holistically, we must say that this government is failing the nation. And there is need for them to raise the bar. They should get their heads together. We cannot continue to witness uh, insecurity across the world. Things must give way, and the government needs to help now. Okay, thank you so much, comrade, for staying tuned to the conversation this time and being a part of it. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you, viewers, for staying you, to a man. Thank you, viewers, for staying on the conversation this time. Don't forget, if you have not a part of our social media community, please do so now. Flows across all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at TOS TV Network. And of course, our website is always there for you to stay updated on happenings in Nigeria and in Africa. My name is Merciful Ajinimo. Stay safe.